<laughs> what have I done? COVID-19 has impacted all of our lives and shaken the way our country operates. But the biggest problem Americans face today is caused by our own paranoia. You've seen the memes. If you've been to the store, you've seen it yourself. Shelves everywhere are empty. There is no toilet paper to be found anywhere. To cut a long story short, I have five roommates and six rolls of toilet paper to last for the foreseeable future, so I had to get a little creative. This used to be an electric arc lighter. They work by sending a very high voltage to one end and creating an arc that can start a fire. You know what else uses high voltages to create an arc of electricity? That's right, these things are basically mini tasers. This one no longer works, it doesn't create an arc anymore, but if you touch both leads at the same time and push the ignition button, it'll still give you a nasty shock. So here's the plan. I'm going to 3D print an enclosure to hold the toilet paper along with a button, a motor, a relay, and our mini taser. The idea is that when the button is pushed, toilet paper will begin to dispense. But if you hold the button for too long, you'll get a gentle reminder to conserve our limited resource. To save some time, I've already 3D printed the main enclosure. It's a simple box with the back and bottom cut out. Inside, there's a little shelf to mount the motor and a rod to hold the roll in place. As with most large prints, this didn't come out perfect. There are some messy parts on the front curve and some cracks in the side that I'm going to leave for now and glue together later and you'll see why. I started by disconnecting the activator button from my broken lighter. If you're using the one I have linked in the description, it'll look a little different, but the process is the same. Then I added some extra wire to make these leads a little longer and screwed them in to the normally open connections of the relay board. The wiring for the motor is a little complicated. If you want to see my schematic, you can head over to my Instructables page linked in the description. The basic setup spins the motor for one second whenever the button is pushed. Then, I connected the taser relay to the Arduino. This red LED indicates the relay is on, sending that high voltage to one of the spikes. Every time the button is pushed after the limit is reached, the taser will shock again. I was even able to get it to arc by holding the prongs really close together. Once I had all the functionality working, I glued everything into the enclosure. The motor had to sit perfectly lined up with the printed rod, otherwise the roll wouldn't dispense correctly. Other than that, the parts were just glued wherever they fit best. I made sure to glue in the Arduino with its plug facing down so the device could still be plugged in once it was mounted to the wall. You could alternatively use a battery to make it wireless, but that seemed like too much work for this project. Another 3D printed part allows the motor to turn the roll when it spins. This part has a friction fit, but if there are any problems feeding, it can be glued into place. Getting the roll into the box ended up being the hardest part of the whole project. I'm glad I didn't glue up the cracks in the side earlier, because it was actually the only way I was able to get it to fit at all. And here is the finished product installed in my bathroom. It happens to fit perfectly in the original toilet paper holder. Let's see how it works. If you look closely at the button, you can see the little prongs of death that you have to touch to push the button. Before showing you the toilet paper taser in action, I wanted to quickly talk about the code. If you go to GitHub and download it, the only numbers you're going to have to change are these right here. These first three are the data pins that everything is connected to, and these second three are values that affect the operation. This shock time determines how many times you can press the button before you get shocked. I have it set to just one free press. Every press after that will shock you. This reset time is going to be the number of seconds before it resets and will no longer shock. I have it set to two minutes. That means that after one person uses it, it'll reset after two minutes so that the next touch doesn't shock. This last variable right here is motor speed. This just affects the speed 
at which the toilet paper gets output. 255 is the fastest. That can go anywhere from zero to 255 though. Zero would not be turning at all. All right, I'm here in my bathroom. I need some toilet paper. Oh, okay, okay, it didn't shock me. <laughs> I'm so scared. I need more, more toilet paper. Ah! Oh, I'm so scared. Ah! Jesus. Ah! Oh. Okay. I need, I need more. Oh. I'm so scared. You have to like hold it. Ah! God. Ah! Ah! See, that should be enough. That's only two shocks. If I want to sacrifice a third finger. Ah, it's so terrifying. God, Jesus. Yeah, okay, I can't think of a scenario where you'd need this much. Ah. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. So there you have it, the toilet paper taser. <laughs> I'm really confident we're gonna have enough to get us through the next month now. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, feel free to leave a like or even consider subscribing. It means a lot to me as a creator. As always, I'm gonna have links down in the description to everything I used in this project and an instructable in case you wanna make your own and keep your roommates in check. And finally, I'm gonna let YouTube leave some suggestions right here if you wanna watch some more of my projects. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.